Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. Today I'll show you how you can integrate CloudTrail with CloudWatch. So I'm logged into my AWS Management Console. So basically the benefit of integrating CloudTrail with CloudWatch is that you can apply metric filters. Uh, you can, uh, you know, act as per some event, you can uh, get notified. So there are many benefits of integrating CloudTrail with CloudWatch. So let's do, uh, let's do a demo. Okay. So uh, as you can see, let me open up the dashboard. As you can see, I don't have any trails. So first of all, I'm going to create a trail. Click on create trail. Uh, I'll just name it as Cloud Perceptor Tree. Something like this. Okay, I don't want to enable for all my accounts. So, okay, we'll create a new AWS uh, S3 bucket. I already have a cloud trail bucket, I guess. Yeah, we can use this. So I'm going to use this bucket. Okay, that's okay. Log file. I don't need KMS encryption. That's okay for now. No need for log file validation. And this is an important option you see over here, CloudWatch logs, which is optional. So this, using this option, you can enable your uh, CloudTrail to put logs into CloudWatch. Okay. Uh, it is asking for a log group. Okay. So maybe we can create a new over here. Okay. If you have any log group existing, you can put it in. Let's keep it for new for now. Okay. <clears throat> Next is the IAM role. Okay. So AWS CloudTrail assumes these roles to send CloudTrail event to your CloudWatch log group. Okay. So this more detail. Uh, there are some more details over here. You can refer this. So basically, this role is required to access CloudWatch. Okay. For sending events. Right, we can put uh, some role name over here, like Cloud Trail, Cloud Watch, Logs, underscore Cloud Percept. Okay, so this is the policy document you will see. Okay. So as you can see, using from this policy document, there are two. Uh, Roles which are required, actions are required, like create log stream and logs column put log events. Okay, so these two are required for sending events to CloudWatch. Okay, right, so everything looks good. We'll be clicking on next. So I'll be just putting the event type as uh, management events. So that's okay for now for this demo purpose. Okay. Uh, just read and write API activity. Okay, so uh, we'll be deleting this trail later at the end of the session. All right, so I'll click on create trail. So we got our trail ready in a minute. <coughs> Here we go. We have our trail ready. Uh, this is the CloudWatch log group, okay? And the status is logging. All right, looks good. Second thing is we'll uh, open up CloudWatch. Okay. I'll open it in a new tab. Click on events, routes. Okay, uh, sorry, the, don't need to click on events, click on log groups. So what we are gonna do is we'll try to find this log group over here. Log this up to this, okay. So while configuring the CloudTrail uh, new trail, 
it also created this log group okay and this is the log stream we don't have any log events over here so let's wait for a couple of minutes okay so i'll pause this video until we have some events over here all right so after waiting for five ten minutes that successfully populated the events over here okay so after pop, uh, populating these events uh, you uh, in order to search for a particular event you can apply a filter okay so you can filter events from over here okay you can also create a metric filter from over here as well So let's look at any particular event. Okay, let's try to do something like this. All right, there was a typo here. Okay, let's say we are we were putting the user agent from over here like this. Okay, all I thought. So let's say if we want to get all the internal events for AWS from this metric filter, then oh, like something wrong. Yeah, you need to put an equal sign over here, then you're yeah, good to go. All right. So these are, uh, this is the list of all the internal events, okay? And let's say if I want to find delete login profile, okay? So event name. So let's say if something is getting deleted, my login profile got deleted. I want to find out who deleted that, what was the event for that. So, with put equals to sign over here and there is one event that is matching with that particular uh, event okay there is one entry which is matching as you can see over here right uh, there was an account deleted okay and the creation date was this mfa was disabled this event occurred on this particular date so that kind of details you can find. Even you can create a metric filter from over here and you can use it every time you want, okay? Remember, uh, CloudTrail events accepts only up to 256 KB data. If your CloudTrail event is more than 256 KB, then it won't show up in this, okay? It won't pass from cloud drill to cloud okay so remember this point so yep for now cleaning up the resources so we are going to clean up some of the resources that we just created okay so one is our cloud trail i don't want to incur uh, cost so <clears throat> okay we have this trail over here we'll click on stop logging Click on delete, delete. Okay. So uh, the cleanup process is completed from the CloudTrail side. Let's look at the CloudWatch side. Okay, we are gonna in, going into CloudWatch. Log groups. CloudTrail log, okay, this was the one which is created, so we are going to delete it. 
delete log group delete and we are good to go okay we have not created any metric filter so that's good all right so this is how you can uh, you know integrate cloud trail with cloud watch you can apply metric filters okay again i'm telling you remember one thing cloud trail uh, if cloud trail is sending data which is more than 256 KB, then it won't appear in cloud. Basically, it won't send. Okay. So that's it for this session. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe my channel.